In this video, I'm going to share with you how we're building incredibly powerful backlinks using ChatGPT. Now, we already had a really good process down in terms of reaching out only to really high quality websites, minimum DR of 30, minimum traffic of 1000, and then going through with a lengthy screening process to make sure every one of those links was actually going to give us power and give us results and not do any damage to our website. So we reject 90% of sites we could build links on because they fail our screening process. So we go through and check, is the domain rating actually genuine or are they using artificial inflation tactics and bad links? Uh, where's their traffic coming from and for what keywords are they actually ranking? These are the kind of things which tell you a good site that's actually going to give you more power, authority and trust in order to rank on Google. However, we can actually go better than that in terms of the, the content that the link is actually placed on. Because one tactic is we can actually find relevant pages which already have some age and power with Google and insert your link on there with the correct anchor text to the right page on your website. And that already has a lot of benefits. But more recently, thanks to AI, we've been trying to go a little further and rediscovering the world of guest posting. Now, the traditional guest posting tactic was basically a content exchange where you'd offer to write some content. In reality, you pay someone a broad $10 to write it. And the webmaster gets quite a poor quality piece of content. Uh, but at least you get the link that's contextually relevant to your site, to your niche. But today we can actually go a lot further thanks to the power of AI. And that's because these kinds of guest posts are always going to be more powerful if they actually rank for keywords because Google probably trusts traffic more than anything else. So you can have a, um, a guest post on a website that's really powerful, getting lots of traffic, but in reality, your guest post is buried deep in that website, not really getting any attention. Is it even indexed? I do talk about indexing in one of my videos. And so you're much better off if you can actually get that guest post to rank. So that's why I recommend either placing your link on a page that's already getting some traffic from Google or writing your guest post in such a way that it's very likely to get traffic. So very few people are doing this, but we actually use correlational tools like Surfer SEO, for instance, there's a link below to make sure that every guest post we write is actually fully optimized for that keyword as if we were writing that page for our own website, because that way, that powerful page, that fully optimized page on a powerful website is much more likely to get some traffic. And therefore that link linking back to your website is going to have a lot more power. But now we go a step further because rather than just a guest blog, imagine if we optimize that and that, that guest blog basically ranks in Google. And so in an ideal world for a certain search term, it could be your website that's ranking, but then underneath it, all these basically news placements, all these media brands talking about uh, your niche, your brand, all funneling authority back to you, but also funneling clicks back to you. Now, the way we can be more clever with this is actually rather than just an informative guest post, why don't we turn that into more of a PR style article that looks like native content native to the media brand, and that basically within the text actually sells your product or service. So not only do you get the power of the backlink that's getting traffic and therefore has more power, but also the actual humans who are landing on this post are actually going to click through to your website, much more likely to buy because they've read about you on all these different blogs. So let me show you how I achieve this. So here's an example of one of these PR style guest posts, or what I like to think of as guest posting plus in my own head. So we've got the client name in the title and the whole article is crafted to look like editorial content that secretly sells the client and it fulfills all these best practices from Surfer SEO, which are all based on competitors and their content in order to create the best SEO content. So therefore it's got a content score of 83, which is much better than all the competitors. The average is 66, the top competitor is 82, and yet we've got it up to 83. So that means the client is basically getting a guest post on a powerful website that's crafted to look like editorial content by a journalist, praising their brand and linking to them with content that's actually going to rank and therefore get traffic and funnel all that power and authority back to the client. So let me show you how we achieve this. If I just delete all of this, we even had FAQ schema in there. And now we head over to ChatGPT. We want to copy all these recommended terms from the correlational tool. 
And now within ChatGPT, we basically need to tell ChatGPT uh, who they are. So you are a PR expert. As a journalist, write a PR piece to be published on authoritative news website. To read like an editorial high quality editorial content that's subtly recommending our client and now we say this is the crucial bit this is how i built my power lever prompt generator which is how we create really hyper surface optimized content using ChatGPT. use the following entities the number of times indicated after zero slash. And that's because if we go to that template, you can see all these recommendations have got zero slash two to four. So sponsored content should be mentioned two to four times, unlimited image revisions two to eight times, etc. So we go to ChatGPT and now we paste in all those terms we're supposed to include. So we've said you're a PR expert as a journalist, write a PR piece to be published on an authoritative news website. It should read like an advertorial, high quality editorial content, but subtly recommending our clients' noble creations. Use the following entities the number of times indicated after zero slash. So this is basically following the same process we used to craft SEO content using Surfer, but just adding in this PR editorial edge. So it reads like at this wherever we've got the placement on this high quality media brand, it reads like one of their in-house team, a journalist has actually written it. So to humans and indeed to Google, it looks more trustworthy than just a sales piece going on about how great they are. Now we'll probably have to prompt ChatGPT to actually write a longer piece because generally it will try and condense all that answer into um, a small single response. So you can use the prompt to keep writing to get more and more work out from that. And while that's working, we also want to go back to Surfer, go to outline and get all the topics and questions. In other words, just these FAQs, because that also has a big impact on the content score. So it's trying to respond in just one response as it normally does. Let's have a look at the word count we require. Two and a half thousand to three thousand words ish. So we can actually go a lot longer. Uh, that's not too important for content school. So expand the above. And then we'll paste in the FAQs as well. So it's still this little thing. So now I'm going to say answer the following questions in long form. Now let's just give it two questions so it actually takes up some more word count. So that worked really well, lots of extra content there. So we just need the final two questions. I'm just going to say now these. So now that's done, we now copy all this content into Surfer. We want to delete all the extra ChatGPT formatting. And the prompts I gave it. I'll take out these links. 
and then we want to fix the formatting so let's turn everything to h2s and the h1 obviously so we're already at the content score of 40 the average to beat is 66 the headings will fix that a lot now while i'm doing that i'm going to use this insert terms feature that's really powerful And that's where Surf will go in and try and add in as many of these as it can. So we've basically got two layers of that. Both we prompted ChatGPT to try and use those terms, but now Surf is going to try and add in loads more. So I just do accept, accept, accept. So now we're up to 56. These can be H3s. So in just a couple of minutes, we're already up to a score of 54. That already beats quite a lot of competition. So we've got 32, 42, 52, 36. Not good enough for us. So at this stage, our writers will then go back and forth with ChatGPT, keep on tweaking, improving, a lot of human writing. But the point is, this is then a really good guest post. We then insert a link that's using the correct anchor text, the correct page for the client. And that way, that client's getting an incredibly powerful link from a contextually relevant post that's actually going to rank on Google. Maybe not get much traffic, but get keywords actually ranking somewhere within the top 100. Now, these guest posts, we do have little contacts with pretty major news sites, not like the New York Times necessarily, but good local magazines, local news sites, things like that. So when we craft these kinds of pieces, publish them on these kinds of powerful websites, that looks great to Google, but it also looks great to customers who, if they do manage to find this guest post before they land on the client's website, then they're totally going to get sold. This is basically Parasite SEO, where you're leveraging the power of a powerful news site, putting optimized content on it and using it to sell your product and services. So some people do ask, is there a risk that you're your news articles, your guest posts might actually outrank you. Uh, it's unlikely because you're basically, if you think of a bicycle wheel, you're the hub. You've got all these spokes coming out that are all linking back to you, giving you power. So if anything, it should be you going top. In the unlikely event that one of your guest posts does outrank you, then what that client is seeing is a high quality news article talking about how great you are. So it looks great to Google, looks great to actual humans. I think for us, this is definitely the future of our link building service. We were already building great quality links in the first place on the basis of the sites, but now we're going a level further, making sure we're writing really good quality pages that rank and they sell. So if you're interested, do reach out. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.